In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25 specifically, Jesus, that master teacher, well, he gives at least two parables. The parable of the bridesmaids, the parable of the three servants. But it's interesting. He comes to a point of teaching and he shares something that I'd like to read to you from Matthew chapter 25, starting in verse 31. He says, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit upon his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in his presence and he will separate people as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep at his right and the goats at his left. And then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. Well, why? I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. And then he goes on to say in verse 37, the righteous ones will say, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you, thirsty and give you something to drink or a stranger and show you some hospitality or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison? And listen to this verse, verse 40. The king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Now listen, I think that what we say matters. Our confession of Jesus as Savior and Lord, it matters. The Bible tells us that if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we'll be saved. But listen to me, let me have your attention. Yes, what we say matters but it's what we do that defines us. See, every day you're presented with opportunities in your attitudes and actions, in your attitudes, beliefs, and choices to really show what you believe or to not. And Jesus here in the gospel clearly says, listen, what you do shows me that you belong to me. So today, let me just encourage you, love Jesus with all your heart with all your head, but also your hands. As you come across opportunities to show the love of Jesus, take that opportunity, because as you do it unto the least of these, Jesus says, you're doing it unto him.